Hi, I'm Margie Remmers Davis with Crystal Clear Cashflow, creator of the Fast and Easy Way to QuickBooks Online Pro Advisor Certification. Today, we're going to be walking through one of our practice exercises from our basic level course, Section 3, Lesson 8 which is all about estimates and purchase orders. Now, I have a whole slew of exercises about this topic because you really have to know this for the test. This is just one of those things where um, you just really have to know the ins and outs of creating estimates and um, and converting it to a purchase order. So I have, in addition to uh, this exercise, there's a couple other ones. In fact, you have to have completed the create an estimate exercise before you can even do this. So you'll notice that I have right here, it says you must complete this exercise um, before getting started. So make sure that um, you have done that. So once we have created a purchase order, which we did um, in the last exercise, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna create an expense from that purchase order. Now this particular topic is um, is not as much covered on the test. So this particular exercise, um, unlike the other one, the other estimate related exercises are are those are critical. This one is more optional, um, but it's a handy tool to be able to just quickly uh, be able to do this. If you would like a copy of this exercise, um, or if you would like to find out any more about our courses, of course, all the information about that is in the description below. So let's. Let's go ahead and take a look at our scenario. Um, the pump has arrived. Remember, this is a continuing story. So we first created an estimate. Now the uh, Gevel Burr Photography said yes, and we went ahead and purchased it, or we put in a purchase order. Now the pump, the the pump that we uh, set up the purchase order for has actually come, and so now we're going to go and actually buy it. Okay. So the pump has arrived. It's now time to pay Norton for it. You'll do this as an expense and attach the purchase order, uh, attach the purchase order to it, right? So of course we have to be in the sample company. So let's go ahead and do that. And the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to create an expense. So I go here to my plus new button and I create expense, which is in the vendor column. I'm going to put um, Norton in the uh, in the as the payee there as the vendor, and you'll notice that when I did that, this drawer pops up, um, and here is the purchase order that I created in that previous step. So I created my estimate. I used the estimate to create a purchase order, and now I'm using the purchase order to create um, an expense. So to do that, all I have to do is um, add the purchase order by clicking add right here. It automatically put it in and worry about the bill. Um, I just do just do the purchase order. I'm going to scroll down a little bit so you can see that. Um, and so it automatically put that all of that information in there, even transferred over that this was for you know Gevel Burr Photography because it originally came from that uh, from that original estimate. So it remembered all that stuff. All right. So now all we have to do is click save and close. All right, and that's it for this exercise. So if you found this exercise helpful, make sure you give us a thumbs up. If you would like to be notified every time that we post uh, a new video, a new exercise, or tips about getting your Pro Advisor certification, then make sure you comment below. And also, of course, if you have any suggestions on other things that you would like hands-on practice doing, let us know that as well, and I will get right back to you. All right, that's it for me. I will see you next time.